Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a Zendaya inspired makeup tutorial from the Oscars that she literally rocked. Her whole look and her dress was so beautiful, like she was by far my favourite like overall look from the Oscars. Um, she just looked like an angel but a snatched angel like her contour was amazing so I went really really strong on the contour but still kept it like more like bronzy natural kind of vibes because she looked effortless. I did my best to recreate the look that she wore. I had to do it on Love Zendaya since The Greatest Showman. I love Zendaya from like even from like the Disney ages but once I watched The Greatest Showman it made me love her even more and when I saw her at the Oscars like like in pictures not in real life I wish in real life but when I saw her pictures like I was just like no I need to recreate this look she looks amazing so yeah I did my best to try <laughs> recreate that look that she wore it looked amazing I think her makeup artist used all Charlotte Tilbury I'm not sure that's what I read online but you know you never know what, what's true or not but I used some Charlotte Tilbury stuff and just <clears throat> what the hell's wrong with me but I just did with what I had and I'm quite happy with the look but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you want to know how to get this look then keep on watching okay guys I'm quite far up first because I'm just going to do my hair quickly it's just the right like what the hell um don't don't even ask me but I'm just going to like brush it out I'm going to do that slick bun ow you know how much I hate brushing my hair? Okay. I'm just gonna bring it all up and start. Okay, so then I'm going to twist it. So now just to fix up the hair and just make it a little bit more neater and perfectly even like Zendaya. I'm going to use some of my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This stuff is so good for your hairline <laughs> and for baby hairs. So I'm just going to brush it through. Like it just does the job. Now I only do this for like special occasions because otherwise I'll go through this bottle of brow setter so quickly. But it just really, 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 really does the job nicely. And don't forget the back because you don't want to see stuff in the back either. Okay, I'm obviously not as good as the hairstylist, but this is gonna do. Then I'm gonna take a big brush like this and I'm gonna use some of my noir eyeshadow from oh which is obviously very old now um, but I'm gonna take some of this noir eyeshadow by Anastasia you can buy this um, as a single but it's like one of the best black eyeshadows I have and then I just kind of lightly fill my bald spots how am I like 22 and doing this?
Okay, so I'm first going to start my brows like I always do. And I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Brow Pencil. I'm just going to like roughly fill in my brows. Her brows look super bushy. Like she seriously has brow goals because like her brows are so nice. Like they're so nicely shaped but so bushy at the same time. Just gonna fill. Hopefully you guys can see a bit better because I was a bit too far. It doesn't matter if you go over because we're gonna fix that with some concealer. I want to make it thick like hers and this like brow pencil like doesn't budge like once it's on your brows it's it, it will stay there I don't know if you guys can see like how roughly I'm doing this okay I'm gonna use some of my um, elf brow gel this is just gonna give a bit more definition to the hairs able to see them a bit more now if you go too overboard like I do take another clear brow gel yeah, and don't worry if you go over like we're gonna like fix it after okay I'm now gonna take some of my NYX got you covered concealer in golden I'm just gonna carve that Brow. Yeah, I would say I'm quite happy with them now. I try to make them as bushy as possible. And I think I'm just going to moisturise my face quickly because it feels kind of dry. So I'm going to go in with some of my Glam Glow um, moisturiser in Nude Glow. It looks like this. I'm going to take a dollop. Why is it going to that Some hydration. This has got a really nice glow to it as well. Just going to put a bit on my shoulders. I have such a round face. I wish I had like a jawline and cheekbones like Zendaya, you know, like. Now I'm just going to go in with some of my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand and I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. Put the inner corner of it. Once that's all blended out, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette, which looks stunning by the way. I'm just going to use a shade right here. Let's just set that in place. It's going to make your eyeshadows blend so much easier. Now from the pictures um, and from what I've read online, um, she went with like a soft like bronzy smoky eye with a bit of shimmer on like the inner corner. I can see like a bit of shimmer. Even on her lower lash line she has a bit of shimmer. So I'm just going to slowly build up the browns. I'm going to take this shade right here as my transition colour. just... I'm gonna just place it like I usually do. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this dark color right here. And I'm really gonna like intensify it. Just outer corner but it does come out quite far out so okay so I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like a gunmetal silvery color I'm just gonna pop this onto that lower lid 
Well, I see like where she has glitter. This shade is actually so stunning. She only has it like in this little corner here. I feel like her eyeshadow look looks so effortless and that's what I'm trying to like get here. Okay, I'm gonna finish the blending in a bit. Just gonna like start my skin. Like I'm happy with this eye, but this eye is looking a little dodgy. Soften up. I want it to look really, 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 really soft. Okay, we're gonna move on to the skin now. I'm gonna use some of my Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Glow Moisturizer. Let's put this. Just what she, they actually use on her, but with me, like I don't know if it, it will like adapt to my skin tone in a bit. But they also put it on her shoulders, I believe, from what I've read. So I'm just gonna build my shoulders. I use some of my um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade eight. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a bit of my Shape Tape Concealer underneath my eyes. Now Zendaya's contour was killing. Like it was so beautiful. Like it was so defined it, all around like the perimeter of her face. It was just so beautiful. So I'm gonna try and imitate that. I'm just roughly cleaning the edges of my eyeshadow. I just highlighted with some of my Bobbi Brown retouching wand. It's in the shade medium, but now I'm going to go on to contour. I really, really, really want to try this NYX one that I was recently sent. You guys know that they have their contour palette, their Pro Highlight and Contour Palette, and now they have a cream version, which is really cool. These are the colours. I think I'm going to go with this shade right here. A little bit on a brush. Just like start to slowly blend that into my skin these are like so easy to blend like they feel really soft when you touch them I'm actually quite shocked at how nice this contour palette is. I think it's so easy to blend. Don't be afraid to take your beauty blender and like blend the edges a bit. A bit. And I think I'm going to take a little bit, just a little bit of this darker colour just to define my cheeks a little bit. To create a more dimensional look, three dimensional look. A bit of that dark color closer to my hairline. Yeah, she's got some of that nose contour going on too. I'm 
I'm gonna grab some in the banana shade and just lightly kind of highlight and then I don't usually nose contour guys, just remember that, like I do it sometimes and I feel like it definitely takes a lot of practice because even I don't even know like how to do it but this is, I feel like this is one of the best ones I've ever got. I'd say I'm happy with that. I also did have like a really contoured jawline which I'm going to try and imitate. Okay, I'm just going to bake a little bit under my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, oh by the way I use my W7 Banana Dreams powder and then to set the rest of my face I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Tan. Just lightly set the rest of my face. So she did have a little bit of eyeshadow on her lower lash line but she also had some of the shimmer. I'm just going to take some of my Clinique uh, Black and Black Cardial, high impact custom black cardial, such a long name. I'm just gonna tighten that. I'm gonna blend some of that brown underneath here, not too much. And blend, blend. And I'm gonna grab the palette again and put some of that same shimmery shade that we put in the inner corner and just like lightly put that right in the inner corner right there I'm gonna grab this shade right here it's one of my favorite shades from the palette put that on the inner corner now I'm just gonna brush off the excess powder I'm just gonna put a little bit of this bronzer from the um, Maybelline master bronze palette and set the contour Okay, and now let me see if she's got highlight. Okay, she's definitely got some very subtle highlight. Yeah, I don't know if she's got some blush. She's got some type of blush and it looks like peachy pinky to me. So I'm just going to use the same blush in the Master Chrome palette, this one right here. Just put a little bit on her cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm going to use some of my beautiful bobbi brown highlighter powder in moon glow it's like so stunning i don't really like to use fan brushes but i think today i'm going to use a little bit just to get that really subtle highlight she doesn't have that much highlight going on which i think i am already I'm like running out of battery, like how is that even possible? She doesn't really have any falsies on, she just looks like she's got mascara so I'm just gonna put a bunch of mascara on. I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I'm gonna try and push my lashes to the corner, I used to always do this. I'm gonna mix these two. This is the Pound Nan matte lip color in Mocha, I think, and some of the Huda Beauty Bikini Babe. This is a really cool tone. And then I'm just gonna mix. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my matte cork. So 
and then I'm gonna take some of my Huda Beauty lip glosses. I think I'm gonna take the warmest one, which is Star Star Crossed. a bad job i don't really like this i really like this look guys okay so guys that's the end of this makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i did a lot of experimenting today and oh my god i love this look so much one thing that i know i'm gonna do a lot is sorry i'm just looking at stuff outside and what's wrong for me i know that one thing i'm gonna do a lot more is push my lashes outwards when i put my mascara on because it's just like so it makes your eyes look more like cat eye. Yeah, I love this look so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more celebrity inspired makeup looks or, you know, music video looks or whatever, Oscars. If there's anyone from the Oscars that you want me to recreate, let me know. Um, I had a ton of fun doing this video. I haven't done one like this in ages and I'm happy I did it. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!